tech interviews are not interviews. They're circus auditions. You're not proving you can code, you're proving you can survive psychological warfare while three engineers stare at you like you're about to defuse a bomb. You walk in thinking you'll talk about your projects, your experience, maybe the fact that you shipped something real once. Nope. Instead, you're handed a marker and told, reverse this binary tree. And if you hesitate, if you so much as blink wrong, congratulations, you just failed the test. And let's be real, nobody's reversing binary trees at work. When's the last time a product manager came to you like, hey, can you just implement Dijkstra's algorithm before lunch? Never. What you're doing is debugging some random CSS issue in staging while JIRA tickets multiply like rabbits. Fixing a single typo in JSON for three hours because some third-party API throws a tantrum over one missing comma. Half the job is arguing in Slack threads that go on longer than the actual code review. And the other half? Googling the exact same error message that's been haunting you since college. That's the real coding test. Not some leet code nightmare designed by a sadist with too much free time. But sure, let's pretend my ability to invert a graph proves I can collaborate with a team. The prep grind is even worse. Leet code, hacker rank, daily algorithm puzzles, it's not a job search, it's a second degree. That's where the sponsor of this video, Algo Monster, comes in. It's built by engineers from Google and Meta, and instead of throwing random leet code problems at you, it teaches you through patterns. You get a full learning plan, templates, even flowcharts so you know how to tackle any type of question. They've got a new practice section too, and it feels way closer to a real interview than other platforms. Plus, there's even a speedrun mode if you want to drill fast. And right now, you can get 50% off through my link in the description. Back to the video. Then you finally get past the coding rounds and think you're free. Wrong. Here comes the behavioral interview. Tell me about a time you faced conflict at work. Bro, I'm facing conflict right now, it's this entire process. And don't even get me started on take-home projects. They say, it's just a small task to test your skills. Next thing you know, you've built a whole app with a backend, CI slash CD, Docker tests and documentation. That's not an interview, that's unpaid freelance work. The biggest joke of all? Half the engineers running these interviews couldn't pass them themselves. I promise you, the guy judging your recursion skills has stack overflow in his search bar history every day of the week. The difference is, he's been around long enough to hide his Googling better. Here's the truth. Tech interviews don't measure if you can do the job. They measure how well you can cram trivia into short-term memory and regurgitate it under pressure. They reward performance, not ability. It's like picking a chef based on how fast they can peel a potato blindfolded. Sure, it's impressive, but can they cook a decent meal? But we keep playing the game. Because we must. Behind all the whiteboards, coding challenges, and HR nonsense is a paycheck, health insurance, and maybe free pizza on Fridays. So, we grind leet code. We smile through panel interviews, we pretend the system makes sense, and hey, if you enjoyed this content, make sure to subscribe for more. Dev out.